What is up, XRP Army? We have some exciting news from Ripple. So hit that subscribe, hit that like. Links to everything's in the description. CEO at Ripple, Brad Garlinghouse, says there's one thing all of us in tech can agree on. It's high time we dismantled the scammers once and for all. Proud that Ripple is joining this coalition along with other industry heavyweights. Good stuff. And what does he mean in particular? Let's take a look. Ripple saying, introducing tech against scams. Ripple is joining force with Match Group, joining Coinbase, Meta, Gemini, Kraken, and more to combat online fraud and financial schemes. Together, we're taking action to protect consumers and disrupt scammers. Now, there's a press release. We're going to dive into the press release in just a moment, but it's lovely to see Ripple's name among big names. Now, obviously, it's a big stretch. We want to see what in detail is this coalition. Is it just you guys joining a group? Because what we saw recently with the HBAR fiasco weeks ago was that sometimes people really stretch. They really squeeze a lemon in terms of partnerships and coalitions. But let's dive into it. What do you guys think uh, in, in general about this? Tech companies announce a new coalition to fight online fraud and nonsense scams I don't know why they use that word uh, so let's scroll down here let's go on to the key notes the coalition includes Coinbase Match Group the parent company of Tinder and Hinge Meta, Kraken, Ripple and Gemini as well as the global anti-scam organization Tech Against Scams will preserve as a primary coming body where participating tech companies will collaborate on ways to take action against the tools used by scammers, educate and protect consumers, and disrupt rapidly evolving financial scams. Recently, we saw um, David Schwartz talk about an advanced, sim, uh, an advanced SMS phishing hack that was being attempted on him through like legitimate ways, but really advanced. So guys, as machine learning, as AI improves, as tech improves, as silicon wars get better and better and better and CPUs get better, fraud and scams are going to get more advanced. So I think it's important for projects to be ahead of the curve. We saw how Ripple released a statement on quantum uh, computing and whatnot, albeit it's not directly their, uh, their words. It's from the researcher. But it's good to see this, putting an, an, an end wherever possible, limitations, safe limitations on scams. We can't get rid of them, but you got to do what you got to do. This work will include sharing best practices, threat intelligence, and other tips and information to help keep users safe and protected before they become victim to an online fraud scheme, such as romance scams or crypto scams. I mean, if you're stupid, you're going to fawful and you can't protect everyone. You know, you got to, you don't need to be run over by a car to look both ways. So, you know, it, it's a give and take. You can't protect someone from their own stupid, foolish decisions also. Beginning last summer, Match Group, Coinbase, and Meta initiated a first-of-its-kind collaboration in the tech industry to understand cross-platform threats. And this was to better uh, recognize an opportunity to better disrupt these crimes by bringing additional companies in the conversation. This cross-industry collaboration now spans online, social media, and crypto companies. So... I guess a few guys tech-wise started this. Looks like more projects, blockchain included, like Ripple, are joining these coalitions and each aiming to leverage each company's unique position in the ecosystem to better identify new adversarial trends and share best practices to combat global scams and drive collective action to protect users. So we can see some, you know, some basic statements on here on scams and, and things like this and scams like this is nothing new under the sun you know they've always existed right the nigerian prince the this that you know the person that doesn't exist like this is not 2024 fresh stuff but we'll see if um this does anything in the future i think it's 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 also good to see these names come together like i really don't care about the actuality of security prevention like truthfully truth be told like i don't think this is really going to help and prevent users from doing dumb crap but i like seeing the names among each other it's, it's nice to see the names again we see coinbase saying that fraud schemes are becoming increasingly sophisticated 
underscoring a greater emphasis on the importance of industry leaders coming together to tackle fraud and secure a safer digital environment for users. Well, speaking of fraud, there were no accusations of fraud against Ripple in SEC's uh, statements against Ripple. Ripple says that they're confident it's going to be maximum $10 million fine from the SEC. And again, we see, coming back to this, speaking of fraud, like the collaboration of big leaders, it's a good thing. We are dedicated to disrupting emerging online scams. And we can see here just some more just some more PR stuff. Won't bore you, bore you guys with the PR stuff. But finally, I, th I think that it's, it's good. Um, it's good to do this. These coalitions kind of have a perceived benefit and kind of a halo effect. Halo effect in UX is when you see like Amex Visa MasterCard with a brand. It just kind of rises the social proof and the authority of a project. Is there already planned wave, an already planned wave of institutional liquidity coming for XRP? Well, I asked you guys like, is the stablecoin going to send it for Ripple? And it's like 50-50. Mostly I think it says no. It's like 48% yes. And this is a resounding yes. Almost 2,000 votes total. Two-thirds of uh, the users say that yes, there will be a massive inflow of institutional liquidity coming. But who knows? Uh, interesting poll. Today, Uniswap responded to the SEC Wells notice. They used the Ripple versus SEC case in their response in multiple sections. The XRP community literally ruined it all for the SEC. So this is great because the Unis Uniswap's dialing back, slapping Gary. You know, Robin Hood's like, nah, no, I don't think so. And so the balls of steel from Brad Garlinghouse is now paying dividends and commanding respect from other projects referring to us, using our statements. This is a great win for XRP and it's a great win for crypto and a win for crypto is a win for XRP and a win for XRP is a win for crypto. And it doesn't just end there. Breaking news, if you didn't know, Donald Trump's campaign opens up crypto donations for the public. Now, why is this important? Well, you don't say, Merck. What do you see behind Mr. Donald? Oh, we see Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether, Solana, USDC, XRP, I've been talking about Omnitain. Guys, if it's USDR, if it's USDR, I will send a letter to Ben Armstrong saying you are no longer the unofficial, official Supreme XRP commander and it's me. It's because everything I've been talking about has been happening. And if it's USDR, that, that's going to be the cherry on top for the stablecoin. But clapping back to this, we see XRP. What a nice looking X, you know, X.com, X, XRP. Good to see that. We again see XRP there as well. Uh, I did a test on seeing how to donate and they are, uh, to their credit, I think they are the first, one of the first to accept crypto donation. As a recap, now accepting crypto, demonstrating President Trump's success as a champion of American freedom and innovation. We proudly offer you a chance to contribute to the campaign with cryptocurrency. Saving our nation from Joe's failures requires your support as Joe piles regulations and red tape on all of us. Trump stands ready to embrace new technologies that will make America great again. Ready to embrace, you know. So now think of him what you will. Put aside your BS feelings and blue, red, pink, green, yellow, blue, orange, fuchsia, rainbow, whatever. A win for crypto is good. We need informed adults to be able to do what they want to do. We need civil discourse. We need that. We need dissent. We need to have the ability to trade any of these that we like. USDC these nuts, USDT these nuts, and USDR these nuts. I think it's going to be USDR. Like I said, it didn't experiment with this. It would show Coinbase wallet, MetaMask wallet. So clearly you can, I believe you can use, um, you should be able to, to donate with XRP. Uh, I haven't gone that far in the payment like uh, funnel, but it's a good win for crypto and you could argue maybe he's just doing this for PR just to get the votes and then not do anything. I think we should go with probable, not possible. Is it possible? Sure. Are all of them kind of corrupt? Sure. But we also have to look at people who are pushing pro crypto. We got to be reasonable and objective. And I think that uh, Donald is going to be a better of the two. You know, if I had to choose between a sleepy old guy who can't get out of bed versus a sleepy old guy who can get out of bed and likes XRP, I'm going to go with the latter. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can see some other projects there, and it's a good win. It's a good win. What do you guys think about that news? Finally, 
To wrap up, let's go to the chief, chief legal officer at Ripple, Stuart Alderotti Gen Gen Gensler. Maybe I should call him Gensler. Gary Gensler overplayed his hand. He thought crypto was an easy target. He relished being the guy that everyone loved to hate. He thought he was above congressional oversight. That's all gone. He's now a struggling political liability. He is. It's becoming like a U.S. security liability, national defense liability. Because the longer that the U.S. gets companies going to Switzerland and whatnot, the longer that they lose talent to innovation, the longer that they lose all of this, this bustling small business entrepreneurs, they're going to go elsewhere. They're going to go where there is clarity, not lack thereof. So we can see that Stewart's been making a bunch of posts. I'll give you the TLDR that both parties are coming together and identifying that there are some roadblocks or in the words of Donald, red tape. And we should see, I think guys, we're going to see an optimistic 180 from Gary and the SEC and CFTC. I think we're going to see Ethereum ETFs, a bunch of them approved. I think we're going to see the SEC and Judge Torres, as Ripple said, Judge Torres, they believe in their words, I'm paraphrasing, will fairly judge the court case and pay a maximum fine of $10 million, not billion. And I think that a win for Ethereum, I don't think Ethereum's a security. I don't think XRP's a security. I think there will be, and I'm calling it right now, bunch of Ethereum spot ETFs, bunch of XRP ETFs, basket ETFs. The future is interchain, guys, and we see this full force with collaborations like EVMOS, Cosmos, enhancement of the Ethereum uh, sidechain on XRP Ledger. And finally, this stablecoin that I'm predicting is going to be called USDR coming to not only XRPL, but also Ethereum. And why, why would Brad be so stupid to launch on Ethereum being a security? So guys, remember the good old, good old saying, USDC these nuts, USDT these nuts, USDR these nuts. It's just kid in a candy store and it's just brokey BS that does villain arc of like, no, no, this will implode and this is going down. That will implode and that's going down. Even look at this salesman, bro. He's a money max. He's like, give it all to me. Do you want to donate shit? Give it to me. So guys, let's try to be pragmatic. I see sometimes people get very pissed off and there is, there is time to critique. I was critiquing David Schwartz of like, he's hardly ever tweeting about news. It's always about nonsense. That's not even crypto related. And, and I wish they would foster a better relationship with the XRP community. So I can empathize. I can sympathize with the pain points of XRP army. Uh, but there's a lot of good going for Ripple. And they've carved out their narrative of, of the first carbon neutral chain, long lasting, American based, US capital coming in. We got that stable coin coming in, enterprise, business, banking. So let's see what happens. Um, time has been one of those things with XRP being tricky, but it's been a late bloomer and it did pretty decent given that it was in the midst of uh, the SEC nonsense during 2021. It still ran up and did pretty good. Didn't peak old all-time high, but still did pretty good relative to the legal entanglement that it was in. I think the future, guys, for XRP is very bright. What do you guys think about the capital that is maybe planned already? You know what I'm saying? Like a nice fat smack. Two-thirds of people voting on that. Any thoughts about Trump accepting crypto and featuring XRP also in his graphic and website, which is nice. It's good to see because we have tons of people just seeing this and seeing this. And it's a win for crypto. Let's celebrate that. Let's put aside how you feel about Orange Man with his yellow hair and just try and look at things with a, an objective reason and just be pragmatic. You know what I'm saying? So guys, life is beautiful. I think XRP is going to do well this bull run. Let me know what you guys think. Is XRP good? Is it bad? And why not? Like why or why not? It sucks when people just slam stuff without actually giving some sort of thesis. Hit that subscribe, hit that like, links to everything's in the description. I'll see you guys in the next Angry Crypto Show.